This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here at Black House MMA with Albert Morales, who fights in a title eliminator at LXF this Saturday night in Century City, California. Albert, you have the big fight, title eliminator, Ron Skaldstang. Tell me, how are you feeling right now as fight week is winding down? Ready to go, man. Clock is ticking, days are going down. I, you know, I prepared for this fight. It's been a while now, man. My last fight was in May. Decided to take some time off. Really wanted to inc improve myself, whether, you know, the hardware and the software. We did both. We're ready to go. Now, the fr elephant in the room, people are going to see your record and say, you know, times haven't exactly been the best in the kingdom. And, you know, when you have that, a lot of people, I think, it's like, well, you know, is he being brought in? What do people not know about Albert going into this fight? Why is it like, hey, you know what? I am pulling off that win. I know the numbers may not show it, but I am going out there to get this thing done on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think people definitely know who I am. Definitely in Southern California. They know, they know, I've never, every fight that I has not, every fight that hasn't gone my way was either a war or just, you know, judges didn't see it my way or, there's a whole bunch of things that went down, um, and and I, I you know my losses are in the UFC. You know what I mean? That majority of them are there, so I, I don't and I don't really consider them losses. I consider them learning lessons, man. And as long as I don't stop, I know that I'm gonna get to where I need to be. As far as this next fight, they're gonna see a whole. You know, they're gonna see a 2.0 Albert. You know, that's 100% for sure. Um, I've been putting in the work. I got the best team with me right now. This is my third fight with this new team. I've been at Black House, but you know, coaches have been changed and all that stuff. Like, and and right now, I've been working with the Brazilian Samurai. I'm still working with Coach Kenny Johnson. Uh, I added a recovery session with uh, Rewire Performance, uh, and uh, that's my strength and conditioning and recovery session with Synergistic Health. So I got a whole team around me, and I'm also with Carlson Gracie. Shout out. Uh, been there forever, but all these teams and, and we're working synergistically and we're rewriting my performances, man We're ready to go, bro. That's all it is, man I'm ready to go out there and perform and go out there and get this W Now you, uh, fight, you know, you're a SoCal guy. You're fighting at a black house here in Southern California What's that effect like knowing hey, you're at home. You don't have to really travel for this one You get to have a lot of people come in. What's that like for you personally when you have a fight here? I love fighting home because then I get to see my friends, my family, and then afterwards we have our legendary warrior after parties. But um, Where's my invite? <laughs> oh, hey, you're invited, man. Your team warrior, you're invited, brother. Um, but um, I love fighting at home. Uh, it gives me an extra pressure because I want to put it down for them even more. Um, so, yeah, for sure. I love fighting at home. I love fighting outside because I always make that my home. Wherever I'm at, it becomes my home for sure. Let's talk about Ron Skullstang. So obviously, you know, we talk about it. This is building up LXF, obviously, you know, building themselves up here in Southern California. What, well, you know, big fight. What is it that this guy brings to the table that makes him a challenge? He's a very tough dude, man. He's got a, couple, uh, he's got a few knockouts. He's been in the game for a very long time. He trains out of a great team out of uh, Team Oyama in Irvine. Uh, there's a lot of good things to say about him. You know, he's a southpaw. That's the biggest challenge that I'm seeing is that I've never fought a southpaw before. But my coach is a southpaw, so what better you know way to prepare for one than that? Um, there's a lot, a lot of things that I got to worry about with him. He's a very talented fighter, but I'm out there to go make him look bad. I'm experienced. I've been at the highest level of you know of MMA. I've been, I fought in the UFC. I fought in Bellator. Um, fought at World Series of Fighting. I know what it's like. I know what it feels like to be at the top, and I know what it feels like to lose. And I know which one I like more. And I've been, pre I've been preparing to get this W, and then after that, get this belt, and after that, get that 45 belt, and then take myself back to the UFC. Awesome. Two final questions. You know, you talked about being with a new team. You know, obviously, you know, it's a new, you know, learning process. You get accustomed to everybody, and then obviously you're still putting in the grind. But mentally, you know, what's that effect like? What's it like, you know, you're with new people, and you start to feel things differently. What is that specifically for you? Um, well, it's a new team. This is my third fight with this team, right? You know, so like, it's definitely like the in between figuring out the team and all that stuff. Like, that's that's like the hard part. And whether you're gonna believe that this is gonna work together, whether the coaches work together, because that's a different thing too. Yeah. Different coaches have different, um, I guess, personalities, and that and that all has to mesh for everything to work. And the great thing is that this is our third fight together. No drama, you know what I mean. Who knows what the future holds? But this this team is working really, really organically. We're work like this is the best team. This is the best team, and I can't wait to prove that. We're gonna all 
the only way to prove that is get that UFC belt, right? But right now, the first step is to get that LXF belt, and that's all we're focusing on right now. The whole team wants the belt. I'm going to go out there and represent my team to the fullest. Final question, Albert. How are you getting the job done this Saturday? Violently. I'm going to get the job violently. You know what? Like, whether it goes to the ground, whether I knock him out, regardless, it, he, it's going to be finished. Second round, third round, first round, doesn't really matter to me. All I know is I'm going to go out there and execute my game plan from start to finish. He's just got to be ready for it. If he's ready for it, then he might survive till the third round. If not, then, you know, it'll be finished fast. Albert, pleasure to speak to you. We're looking forward to the fight this Saturday. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you.